Do you want to improve your English? Where you can walk anywhere and talk to anyone? Do you? And even walk into a bar and pick up girl peoples? Huh? <laughs> the internet is full of this. And it gets me every time. Don't worry, it's not one of those videos. In this video though, I am going to help you improve your English. But before I get into this, I want to tell you, I am no expert. But I am going to share a couple of tips that worked for me. So, might work for you. And learning's always been a fun thing. So let's make it fun. Welcome to the Uncommon Side, where I give you the uncommon view of everyday life. What were we talking about? Now you had a topic for me. Books. You were saying books? Books. What do you want about books? Of course I've got a lot of books. You are the books you read. What you read becomes you. My shelf is full of them. Books are a big part of my life. Um, I use books as a paperweight. I use books as a door stopper. Those big thick Stephen King's. Excellent door stoppers. The most important thing for me is that uh, where I live with a lot of blackouts. So one of the main things that we need it for is to fan ourselves. Especially those really thin Paolo Coelho ones. The alchemist is so thin it really really fans you. I think blackouts are more of a permanent thing than having light ins. Does that make sense? Anyway, uh, point I'm trying to make is that I was joking. I'm actually a voracious reader. I grew up reading, I've read The Famous Fives, Hardy Boys, I even tried Nancy Drew. The reason why I'm actually talking to you here today... Wait a minute. Why were we here again? Since I was a little boy, I always used to get asked, in school or college or at work, how do I improve my English? How do I get better at speaking? How can I present better? How can my English turn out to be a lot more? No matter what it is, the one thing that always struck me is that when I ask them a question, what do you do to improve your English? Uh, everyone said that if you keep speaking English, other than your common tongue, then your English will get better. I was thinking, if someone were to come and ask you, hey, listen, I know how to drive, but I want to be a better driver. My first advice would be keep driving and that's how you're going to be a better driver. No. You, you, you crash into what? A cow? Just, just keep driving. Learn from your mistakes. How could you not see a cow? The point I'm trying to make is the problem is not that you're not good at driving. The issue is that you might want to improve your eyesight because it's a cow. Any, the same way when someone comes and asks me, how do I improve my English? The first thing is to tell what they're thinking themselves, which is speak more. But here's the thing. When a person is trying to improve their English and is not that great at it and he keeps talking and you tell them, hey, you know what, you have that presentation, you just keep speaking and then it's going to be okay. You're just setting them up for a fall. <laughs> the last thing you want to do is to get someone who can't speak English really well and get them to speak a lot more of it. It's like the previous example. If the guy is crashing, struggling to drive, don't just tell him keep driving. The guy just hit a cow. Find out if he's got an eyesight problem. So it's the same thing here. If the guy is constantly screwing up, we need to find out what is the underlying issue. And it could just be the fact that his vocabulary is not good enough. So that something else needs to be done. Now, this is where I'm going to give you a slightly different advice. I know there's a lot of online tools out there that, you know, improve your English by giving you this course. Or they tell you, you know what, we will improve your English through hypnotherapy. But here's the thing, English is one of those few things that you just can't improve overnight. The practice that you need is something as simple as what we've been talking all this while about. Books. You were saying books? Books. Read more, listen to good English, speak more. And this is why I made this video. The only groundbreaking advice I can give you, please take a book. Finish it in 10 days. That's how you improve your English. A book, you can finish it in 10 days. Take up another book, finish it in 10 days. A few months down the line, you would be speaking better. And that's when you start practicing. Go home, pick up a book and read it. 
no matter how busy your schedule is if you include a weekend in there you can finish a really good book in just 10 days that's what i aim for if you want to know what are the best books to read since you're a beginner i've already mentioned some authors and i've mentioned some good books at the beginning of this video and those are good ones to start off with i'm saying read a book